You also have a video piece yeah. that is in our counterpoint space. Yeah. Um, and I, I, I love it. it. It really, I think, captures everything with this show from your trip to Algonquin last summer. Yeah. Uh, tell me a bit about your trip. You, it's almost as if you retrace Tom's footsteps. Yeah. Paddle strokes. <laughs> well, that was that was part of the the idea was to kind of go back and to spend some time in the park where he had spent so much of his time and also where he met his fate. I went to Algonquin with my friend Jesse, who plays a role of Tom in all these works. And you know, we realized we spend about eight hours every day just paddling and canoeing, portaging. Physically demanding. Yeah, and then you're fishing, and you're then you're setting up your tent, and now you're gonna make dinner, and by the time you've done that, you know, the sun is starting to go down, so it doesn't leave a lot of time for painting. And granted, he may not have been traveling all the time. He might have just set up a campsite and, and painted for a week or something in the same place. But even then, it's you, you, you have to work quickly, and the light is changing quickly. And, uh, so that was, that was a really interesting learning experience. And then another thing I, that I gleaned from being in the park was just how dangerous it actually is and how aware you have to be at all times. You know, when you're in the park, every step is different, right? And if you're not paying attention for a second, you know, then you can easily trip or fall or slip or, you know, bump into something. And I had my own really bad fall while we were portaging. Jesse was carrying the canoe and I was loaded up with all the bags and we had, we were on the rocks and I just slipped and I had my, my metal uh, pencil sharpener in my breast pocket and I fell right onto it and it knocked the wind out of me and I would just start, you know, that panic feeling and I thought I had broken a rib and, and which is really scary. And it is, because you, it's not like you have your phone where you can just yeah. call someone and yeah. you're, you're out in the middle of nowhere. Absolutely, yeah. The first thing that occurred to me was just like, wow, like, this is how it could have all happened to Tom. Like, he just, you know, innocently walking across some rocks with his canoe, slips, falls, and it, that's it. And then he that's just it. drifts out into the lake. And uh, it doesn't need to be this elaborate conspiracy theory. We want to think that great people have these great epic ends, and it not necessarily ends up that way. Sometimes it's just the most simple kind of thing can take down a person.